it's a very important problem okay so please make a note of this d square y by dx square plus 4 dy by dx plus 4y is equal to y is equal to 3 sin x plus 4 cos x so this is a standard uh, r of x form which is also from sin x and cos x along with the 3 and 4 okay where the values of a here are 1 and 1 yeah so we can solve this in a standard way d square by d I replace it by d square y plus 4 dy plus 4y is equal to 4 plus 4 cos x take y common so it will be d square plus 4d plus 4 into y is equal to 3 sin x so now put d is equal to m so it will be m square plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0 so now solve for this using the quadratic formula the value of so b here is 4 so minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square is 16 minus 4 4 that is again 16 divided by 2 so m we get it as minus 4 plus or minus 0 by 2 so m we get it as minus 4 by 2 comma minus 4 by 2 ones are 2 twos are so the roots we get here is minus 2 comma minus 2 so these two are distinct roots which are repeating so we can write the complementary function as c1 plus c2 x right since these two are repeating e to the power the required root which we have got minus 2 x so this is your complementary function so now find the particular integral by p is equal to 1 by f of d into r of x so y p is r of x is 3 sin x plus 4 cos x divided by f of d is d square plus 4 d plus 4 so now split this denominator again yeah i have split the denominator and, and i have written like this so now we can solve this for y p 1 and y p 2 and we can get it okay so now let's solve for y p 1 is equal to 3 sin x divided by d square plus 4d plus 4 so here again d square is there so we need to replace d square by minus of a square where the value of a here is 1 so it would be minus of 1 square it is equal to minus 1 right so now y p 1 is equal to 3 sin x divided by minus 1 plus 4d plus 4 so y p 1 we get it as 3 sin x divided by 4d 4 minus 1 is 3 so now 4d plus v we need to multiply a numerator and denominator by its conjugate that is minus 3 right 4d minus 3 so now multiply 4d with this 4d into 3 sin x minus 3 into 3 is now 9 so 9 sin x divided by again this is of the form a plus b a minus b value of a here is 4d and value of b here is 3 so 4d whole square minus 3 square so y p1 would be 4 into bring this d inside 3 sin x minus 9 sin x divided by 4d whole square that is 16 d square minus 3 square is 9 so again this there is d here so we need to take the derivative of 3 sin x okay that is equal to 4 into the derivative of sin x is cos x 3 cos x minus 9 sin x divided by 16 d square minus 9 so y p1 is equal to 4 3 is a 12 cos x denominator is common 16 d square minus 9 minus 9 sin x divided by 16 d square minus 9 okay so here again replace the value of d square by minus of a square the value of a here is 1 right so it would be minus of 1 square equal to minus 1 again 
12 cos x divided by 16 into minus 1 into minus 9 minus 9 sin x divided by 16 into minus 1 into minus 9 so y p1 we get it as 12 cos x divided by 16 into minus 1 is minus 16 minus 16 minus 9 is minus 25 so again this would be plus because here we get it as minus 25 here already we have minus 25 the final y p1 we are getting it as write the positive term first 9 sin x minus 12 cos x by 25 right yeah so now we are going to solve it similar way for y p2 as well y p2 is equal to 4 cos x divided by d square plus 4b plus 4 right so again d square we need to replace it by minus of a square the value of a is minus 1 so it will be minus of 1 square equal to minus 1 so 4 cos x divided by minus 1 plus 4d plus 4 therefore cos x is equal to 4d and 4 minus 1 is 3 again we need to multiply it by complex conjugate 4d minus 3 divided by 4 3 4 d minus 3 yeah, so now we will solve this yeah, so now we will multiply this y p 2 is equal to 4 d into 4 cos x minus 3 into 4 cos x so it will be minus 12 cos x right divided by again a plus b a minus b 4d whole square minus 3 square yp2 we get it as bring this uh, 4 outside so 16d of cos x minus 12 cos x divided by 16d square minus square uh, 3 square is 9 so the derivative of cos x is minus sin x 12 cos x divided by 16d square minus 9 so we get yp2 as minus 16 sin x divided by 16d square minus 9 minus 12 cos x divided by 16d square minus 9 again we need to replace d square by minus of a square where the value of a is 1 so minus of 1 square is minus 1 right so y p2 we get it as minus 16 sin x divided by 16 into minus 1 minus 9 minus 12 cos x 16 into minus 1 minus 9 so y p2 we get it as so this is minus 25 16 ones are 16 six, minus 16 minus 9 is minus 25 here we already have minus so this would be 16 sin x by 25 again here we have minus so this would be plus 12 cos x by minus 16 minus 9 again 25 so we get finally y p2 as 16 sin x plus 12 cos x by 25 so in this way we've got y p2 as well okay so now yp is equal to yp1 plus yp2 so what we've got yp1 as we got yp1 as 9 sin x minus 12 cos x by 25 plus yp2 we got it as 16 sin x plus 12 cos x by 25 so again see the denominators are same here so we can further simplify this 9 sin x minus 12 cos x plus 16 sin x plus 12 cos x divided by 25 so here we can see that minus 12 cos x and plus 12 cos x gets cancelled so yp is left with 9 sin x plus 16 sin x is equal to 25 sin x right 
sin x is common 16 plus 9 is 25 sin x divided by 25 25 25 gets cancelled so the remaining yp is only sin x so this is your particular integral so the general solution could be written as y is equal to yc plus yp where y we got it as particular sorry complementary function we got is c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x right plus sin x so sorry i have written the previous solution the value of uh, yc we have got it as c1 plus c2x into e to the power of minus 2x right plus the particular function is sin x yeah so this was the problem so the question given is 2x plus 3 the whole square d square y by dx square minus 2x plus 3 into dy by dx minus 12y is equal to 6x so here this in this r of x term we have only 6x okay but here we need to replace r of x by r of z right for that we need to replace the value of x since we have only an x term so whatever we should do after the substitutions we should we need to do the substitutions in such a way that at, at the end we need to find the value of x here okay yeah, so now i'll show that how we how we should be doing it so the first thing is the value of let's write the values of a and b so this is of the form again a plus bx but the terms are uh, written uh, in a reverse map that is the first a term is written in the second place and the bx term is written in the first place so here we can compare and say that this is a and this is b right so our a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 right yeah. so now we can write e power z is equal to a plus bx right that is 3 plus 2x also we can write z is equal to log of a plus bx so again 3 plus 2x also in the r of uh, z term we need to we, need, we needed to find the value of x right so in these two cases which is an easier way to be which is the easier equation that we can find the value of x so here we have log right so in this becomes tougher to find the value of x we can find it but this is a bit long method so in this equation by simplifying this equation we can find the value of x right that is if we bring uh, this 2x term to one side so this would be e power z and this 3 go, will become minus 3 so you can write x is equal to e power z minus 3 by 2 so now from this equation we have found the value of x right so now our uh, r of z term would be looking like it we had 6x right so it would be now here by simplifying this we got the value of x right 6 e power z minus 3 by 2 okay so that is 6 e e power z by 2 minus 6 3s are right so this would be 18 by 2 right so again 2 1s are 2 3s are 2 1s are 2 9s are so we get 3 e power z minus 9 as our r of z term by simplifying it right yeah so here we need to substitute that only so now again we have few more substitutions left that is we need to put uh, 3 plus 2x the whole square right or 2x plus 3 that's one and the same d square y by dx square as b square d d minus 1 y where the value of uh, b here is 2 right so 2 square is 4 4 d d minus 1 into y also 3 plus 2x dy by dx can be written as the value of uh, b is 2 right so 2 d y okay yeah so now let's put this in the equations so now the first term is 2x plus 3 whole square d square y by dx square that is directly write it as 4 d d minus 1 into y right minus of 2x plus 3 dy by dx that is 2 dy minus 12 y is equal to the solved the r of z term that is 3 power z minus 9 right yeah, so now we need to solve this 
multiply 4d to the term 4d square minus 4d so here minus 2d is there minus 2l y is equal to 3 e power z minus 9 right so here we can solve this that is 4d square minus 4d minus 2d is minus 6d minus 2l into y is equal to 3 e power z minus 9 see we have reduced this equation in this form so now again the procedure remains the same we need to put d is equal to m according to ae and we get 4m square minus 6m minus 2l is equal to 0 so now we need to apply the quadratic formula so let's apply the formula quadratic the in the place of b we have minus 6 so it would be minus of minus plus 6 square root of uh, minus 6 the whole square is 36 and uh, since we have minus 12 so this becomes plus 4 into 12 into 4 so 12 4s are 48 so 4 to 12 to 16 into 12 we get it right 16 to as are how much 32 16 192 divided by 4 2 into 4 is 8 2a right in the denominator square root of 192 plus 36 2 not 2 2 1 2 2 2 2 and 228 divided by 8 yeah, so now by further solving this 6 plus or minus so here we can split this square root of 228 right so if we split it in two table we cannot so we can write this as 4 into uh, whatever is the answer for 228 by 4 so while solving that i got it as 57 okay we can split and write this 228 as 4 into 57 by 8 so 6 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 root 57 by 8 so m equal to so here we can take 2 a common in the numerator it would be 3 plus or minus square root of 57 divided by 8 so 2 ones are 2 fours are so our root we get it as m equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 57 by 8 okay so this is our required root so the total roots are 3 plus root 57 by 8 and 3 minus root 57 by 8 okay so if you see observe carefully this is not of the form alpha plus or minus i beta okay this is not and there is no imaginary term here so we need to be very very careful by solving this some some of them will be in excitement of solving that uh, there is an imaginary term and we, they will write, directly write the uh, imaginary term or uh, complementary function we need to write it that c1 cos beta x c2 sin beta x so no here there is no imaginary term so this is our uh, two roots where these two uh, roots are were different so our complementary function will be looking like c1 e to the power first root is 3 plus root 57 by 4 okay this is 4 right so 2 ones are 2 2 the x plus c2 into 3 minus root 57 by 4 into x okay yeah so this is our final complementary function so since again i'm repeating it this is not an imaginary term since there is no any imaginary term here so we cannot write in, th in the form of alpha plus or minus i beta yeah so now we are going to solve for particular interval so it is 1 by f of d value is 4d square minus 6d minus 2l into r of x is 3e power z minus 9 so again we have two terms for r of z so again we need to solve it once for 3 e power z and once for y for that we need to solve for y p1 and y p2 again so our y p1 could be given as 3 e power z 4 d square minus 6 d minus 12 so here since we have minus so our y p would be looking like y p1 minus y p2 okay 
since here we have minus so now we will let solve for y p 1 so here the value of a is 1 so 3 e power z divided by 4 into 1 square minus 6 into 1 minus 12 so you know right uh, how I written I have substituted the value of uh, d as 1 since we have solved so many problem okay I will write it again we need to replace d by a and the value of a here is 1 right this is of the form e to the power ax first type right yeah so our y p 1 would be looking like 3 e power z divided by 4 ones of 4 minus 6 minus 12 that is 4 minus 6 is minus 2 minus 2 minus 12 is minus 14 so y p 1 is minus 3 e power z divided by 14 so this is our y p 1 so similarly let's try to find the y p 2 so y p 2 is equal to 9 divided by 4 d square minus 6 b minus 12 where the value of d we need to replace it by 0 right so since we can write it as 9 e power 0 x so 9 divided by 4 into 0 square minus 6 into 0 minus 12 so therefore our y p 2 we get it as minus 9 by 12 right only this term left so these two terms will go so we can reduce it by 3 3 is are 3 4 is are so our final y p 2 we get it as minus 3 by 4 okay yeah so now we have written that y p is equal to y p 1 minus y p 2 right so y p would be equal to y p 1 is minus 3 e power z by 14 minus of minus 3 by 4 right so y p is if I write the first positive term 3 by 4 minus 3 e power z by 14 okay so if you want you can solve this further okay by taking the LCM that is 14 3s are 42 minus 4 3s are 12 e power z divided by 14 4s are 56 okay you can solve this like this also so this is your required particular integral so now finally we can write y is equal to yc plus yp we have y uh, yc we got it as c1 e to the power 3 plus root 57 by 4 x plus c2 into e to the power 3 minus root 57 by 4 into x plus yp we got it as 42 minus 12 e power z by 56 this is your y term so this is not done yet so now we need to replace a few terms right that is we need to replace e power z by log of we need to replace e power z by 3 plus 2x right and we need to replace z by log of 3 plus 2x so here this is z ok and this is z ok I have made a mistake here since the function is in the z form right parameter ok sure this is z ok yeah so now let's replace the terms so what we get c1 e to the power 3 plus root 57 by 4 into z is replaced by log of 3 plus 2x right plus c2 into e to the power 3 minus root 57 by 4 into again log of 3 plus 2x plus I'll write it down here 42 minus 2l into e power z is equal to 3 plus 2x right divided by 56 okay yeah, so we can solve this 
so since there is log and uh, this is again of the form a sorry b log a so we know that this is b log a is equal to I write it here b log a is equal to log a power b right so yeah we will write that so let's see what we get c1 into e to the power log of where a is 3 plus 2x to the power of 3 plus or minus so 3 plus root 57 by 4 right plus c2 e, e to the power log of 3 plus 2x in to the power 3 minus root 57 by 4 right right plus 42 multiply this 12 inside so we get 12 3 is a 36 and uh, uh, minus 12 into 2 is minus 24 x divided by 56 okay yeah so here e and log gets cancelled so the remaining terms are 3 plus 2x into 3 plus root 57 by 4 right plus c1 is there okay c2 into 3 plus 2x 3 minus root 57 by 4 and plus 42 minus 36 is 6 right 6 minus 24x divided by 56 so this is your required general solution okay so we need to be very very careful by solving these kind of problems okay all the terms are very very important so this you have made a mistake here said that i have written x right so when you should not be doing that since the parameter here is we know that r of x is should be replaced by r of z so the parameter x should be replaced by z so whenever you write the particular integral and the complementary function we should write that in terms of z okay we should not write that in terms of x because at the last step we are going to replace the values of e power z and z okay